Hey guys, Rob Murphy from Holistic Healing Choices here. Now today we've got another app review. So today we're looking at Empower You. So this is an app from Hay House themselves, all about their different audio books and everything else that you could imagine comes from them, mainly the audio books though. So let's jump in and have a look. So, empower you the unlimited audio. So, here we have our little welcome screen, just waiting for the internet to kick in. So, here we go, a new audio book. So, you get a little bit of an advertisement about what's available to you. And there we are, and <sighs> having internet troubles at the moment. So, one quick second, and we're back. So, here you can see what we've got, what we've been listening to, and what recommendations based on what you've been listening to, and when you set up your account, you can actually choose which authors you like or who inspires you or whatever the case may be. So we've got some recommendations there and you say all and because you're interested in spirituality you also choose what topics you're interested in. You've got all the different authors and books that you can go through. They've got author spotlights in there like so and because you're interested in energy healing so it's always constantly giving you recommendations based on what information you give the app, whether that be from what you're listening to, to who you choose from when you start up. Now, they've also got this little bit here, what do I need to hear? So just a random thing that's chosen for you from the universe. Jaguar in the body, butterfly in the heart, the real life initiation of an everyday shaman. Written and read by Yakov Darling Khan. Okay, so here we've got this book is the audios are going. Seven Here you can people. choose your speed. My wife Susanna, our son Ruben, my mother Angela, and my father Brian. If you can keep up with 2.4, well done. I know, and my beloved for more but three decades, a medicine woman in your own right. A normally have around 1.6, and that's fine for me. And a very fine and inspiring teacher. Now, you can always plus or minus 15 seconds. You can go to the next chapter quite easily. You can turn it on to sleep, which is something I found interesting. Like. I don't think a lot of other apps actually offer this. So here, after half an hour, it will go to sleep or you can just turn that off. You can bookmark where it is. You can download it to your phone. So if you know that you're going to an area where you won't have any internet service, or if you just want to take the weight off your internet service, say when you're driving or something like that, you can download that. And then you can have a look at all the chapters of that. And then of course you can like the book and other options, you can share it or just view your bookmarks. So it's pretty robust in that way. Now, one negative that I have found with it is that in this little bit here is that you can only go to the next chapter with that. So as that's playing, introduction. let's say you're working out I'm or doing something and you just pull that down, it just takes you to the next chapter, which is annoying, I find anyway. If you hit that again, it'll take you to the app, or if you hit the little pull down things, the there you get your play, pause and skip or go back or you know to exit out of it to make it stop. But I find that pretty peculiar, especially if like we go across to Spotify, we've got a play, pause button right there. And on Audible as well, play, pause. You can go down and you've got just play and pause and same with Spotify. But why not the play, pause right there? If I'm running and I run into someone or at the gym and exercising and someone says something to me, I just want to be able to pause that right there to be able to talk to that person. So that's one little gripe. A little gripe, but still enough. And the other limitation is that it is only Hay House. So if you want something else, you might have to spruik for another app. But if you love Hay House's stuff, then you have heaps to go through. There, I don't think I'm going to be able to show everything on here because there is heaps. Like, I mean, look at all these categories, for instance, and that's just in the books, and then you've got all different meditations as well to go through, immersive learning, podcasts, and Hay House Radio, if you're interested in that. And you can browse by author, browse by topic that you're interested in, and a quick listen. So let's just say you had half an hour off or whatever, you want to sleep, whatever else, they've got you covered with that. And your library, so here's what I've been listening to. And the audios are all quite clear, all very well produced, all good. And search if you need to search for something. And just on your account as well. Okay, so manage subscription. 
say my subscription on Android. I'm on a free trial. They give you a 14 day free trial for this app, which is very good. Enough time to see whether you actually like the app or not. And that is, I believe, $109 a year once you go past that 14 day free trial, which is a lot, I suppose. Now, there's a whole bunch of stuff in there as well. They're gonna, no. Now, you can download on Wi Fi, which is a very good thing as well. And you got a daily reminder to keep up with your books. But other than that, that is about it. So, Hay House specific stuff, all their meditations, all their guided things, all podcasts that you might need as well. Let's go into the podcast and see what's there. So, Medical Medium has a huge one, I know. Inspiration. There's not a lot in the podcast realm at the moment, but I think that, like you saw when I first opened up, they have recommendations and newly added stuff all the time coming in. And I mean, Hay House is a big juggernaut of the self-help industry, so there's going to be a lot of stuff. But then that comes down to the limitation as well. These audios, most of them anyway, apart from the podcasts and the meditations and stuff, all the audio books are pretty well available on other platforms. So is it worth, if you go to Audible, let's say, over to this, maybe. Maybe they have more available on the Hay House app that's not available on Audible because it's just not financially viable uh, to have everything over there, but it's all available on this one. So you have that little cross section thing because maybe you just, you know, you don't want that. So you'll go over here for all of your fiction books and everything else as well. So you have a more expensive library. And do you really want to be paying for both services? Because I know Audible's somewhere around $16 a month, but you do get a free book with that every month. So that's the cost of that book, basically, that you're paying for with your little token or whatever. And so you can get that. So you'd be looking at roughly around closer to the $200 mark here for, but here you've got everything ready to go for 109 for the year. And if it takes you a year to get through all of those books, then you're doing very well to start with because there is a lot of content on there. So it's one of those things you just gotta weigh up. Are you into just the self-help spirituality or that? Or even two, are you going to be after something that's not from Hay House? Then weigh up your options and go from there. But that's about all that I have to say on it. Very robust app. Everything seems to download and go very, very quickly, very fast. You're straight in, you can choose your speed, change your chapters, whatever else you need to do very easily. Like the from the outset, it's a very basic app, but it has everything that you need. And it's very easy to navigate around. Very well thought out, like bright. You can see the covers of everything or the author or whatever else it is that you need to go to, to find that. And there's that search function as well. So if you know the name of the book or a rough outline name of the book, you can search for that. So all up, I would give the Empower You Hay House app an eight out of 10. That little niggle with the little drop down box when you're there, that is something that really just irks me for some reason. It is really weird that they've gone that way. But if they fix that up or change that, then that'd easily be a nine for me because it's got everything and you're only going to use that if you're specifically into or searching for those authors that are on Hay House. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I'm Rob Murphy. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.